sees with your eyes. He hears with your ears. He thinks with your mind. Imagine. Concentrate. Believe. Brent Webb is the master mind. Oh, look at this. There he is. Look at you. I love your shoes. <laughs> You're going to make me disappear? Uh, no, never. <laughs> We were destined to be together. We are father and son. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much. Pretty grandfather. Well, hello. Oh, I've never been in your yes. office. Oh, well, look what's happening. I need you a picture up here. Oh, I'll find it for you. you. Martha okay. Reeves. Oh, she is. Martha who? Martha Reeves. And Mandela. Mandela. Are you going to see uh, the, um, Diana Ross? Diana? I'm introducing her. Oh, my God. Diana Ross will not do a show locally without BP. She needs me as an opening act. Yeah. Though. Okay. Put the word in. Well, you wanted to meet Gavin McLeod. I worked that out. Yeah. Did I well, I'm this up with the act. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're my closing act. You're the headliner. What are you talking okay, about? Okay, come on. Let me get back to you and get cheered up. That's Everything okay doing. with my friend Gavin? Yes. Okay. Okay, they're all watching. They're all listening today. The whole town is listening. The, who's, who, who on everyone, Facebook, who's we had what? almost 700 people driving me crazy. You're putting the envelope, picture the envelope up. Yeah. I sent him an envelope last week. Oh, you're going to open it today? Yeah. It's probably going to say Gavin McLeod. I still don't know how he did it. The process is how I get into this mentally. So I need to get some time. I go away by myself, clear my mind, turn off all the distractions, the noise, radio, TV, and just get away. So I just need a couple of minutes just to kind of be by myself and get my thoughts together. Four three K News. Here they are, the Valley's favorite talkers, Bill Feingold and Kevin Holmes. Uh, uh, hop with me, Gavin. Uh, uh, it's the witching hour. Uh, What's exciting this? And new. this is such good music to introduce Brent <laughs> Webb. <laughs> It's oh, Dark I Shadows. It. I love it. It's Dark Shadows, except I thought I was Barnabas or Dr. Julia Hoffman. I got mixed up quite often. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me set the scene here. It's the Bill Feingold Show, Bulldog and Kevin, and Gavin McLeod, my favorite person on the planet. I can't help it. But my fa- and, but sorry, I'll be number two. <laughs> yeah. well, you don't want to be my number two. <laughs> but Ga- the, the captain spe- this is your captain speaking. When is that coming out? October 22nd, New uh, York City. New York City. He's uh-huh. going to do what show are you going to do? I think, you I think do, I'm going to do all of them. Yeah. Do but Good you Morning can't, You America. can't do ABC I, if you do uh, CBS. You have to pick one or the other. And uh, Kathy is an old friend of mine, but I think they want to go for ABC because they're getting more people. Now. Yeah, and they, hello. Have all, they have all the film of the love boat there that they can use. Oh, so you're going to do Good Morning America. And then yeah. Brent Webb, the mentalist, is here. Brent Webb, who drives us crazy. <laughs> Since you've been on our <laughs> I'll show, take it. your career has taken... It's, it's all because of you. TV specials, you're on Princess Cruise Lines. That's right. And I can't get into Fresh and Easy without a coupon. <laughs> Bob Bogart, Bob Bogart from the Palm Springs Art Museum. You are the marketing and communications director. Very good. Okay, That's at amazing. the Palm Springs Art Museum. And he's here because I said, I need help with this. And look I, at Brent's jewelry. Thank yep. you. I mean, that stuff is uh, flashy. See, Zsa Zsa Gabor did die. They're already selling <laughs> oh. the jewelry off. Auction, big auction. Oh, okay. Isn't Bill, wasn't uh, Fresh and Easy your uh, nickname in high school? No, it? that was Kevin. Oh. Oh. Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Never fresh. Ah, uh, but often easy. Uh, okay, well, let's go. Brett Webb, the med list. Should we do this for the envelope? No, no. let's okay. wait. for That should be the big finale, don't okay, you think? Okay, oh, well, I agree. It's your show? What mm-hmm. do I go? Okay. okay. How's it going? It is going so awesome. I just came back from L.A. Uh, we're getting a series there, so we did some meetings and uh, dazzled them the best right. that I could with my abilities. And the name of the TV show would be what? Brent Webb and the Bulldog? Yeah, Abs- yeah, yeah. absolutely. Is that good? Is that good, Bob? I like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll be in. I'll be prominently featured, of course, okay, but you'll yeah. be in there as well. Yeah, okay. So Gavin and I, uh, we we did a little bit together for Princess Cruises. I do a lot of cruise. I'm leaving this week in a couple of days. I'm going to Dubai. Oh, yeah. So and Gavin and I did a little routine together that we use on the ships. And he said it's amazing. Gavin told me it's amazing. Well, that's what Brent told me. I have still haven't seen it, but oh, okay. uh, you know, he said it works. He filmed it. And he has no he does has no idea how it works. But I, it, dur- <laughs> during the show, uh, during the show, I have people on stage. One lady makes a drawing. One uh, a gentleman reaches into his pocket, pulls out a coin of his choice out of his change, and a lady in the audience is thinking of a song. And I supposedly blow it. I can't get any of the things. Love but music starts. The big screen comes down. There's Gavin with the captain hat on, dressed as the captain. He does the routine. He tells the guy you're holding whatever the coin is. He tells him the year on the coin. He has the drawing that the woman drew, and he names the song in the audience. How did I do that? Yeah, you did it very well. <laughs> Thank you. That's <laughs> amazing. No, you're amazing, Brett Webb. You really are. But Bob Bogart's here because he's he is. He's yeah, the he's, watchdog. It's, he, oh, sorry, he's the, the watchdog cynic. and the bulldog. He's the cynic. He's the cynic. Of I know, Brad. Bob. Yeah. Bob. He's not a, you're not a believer. I am. I am. A <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you said you're one of the monkeys. <laughs> so are we ready? Let's try something. Okay. Now, for full disclosure, before the show, I had Kevin go away from me, make a drawing, and you've got you're behind glass, which is always great to tell right. the listeners you are behind glass. We're in the studio. We you, keep them there for many reasons. Right. Viral and other. <laughs> and I'm ones. okay with that. <laughs> yeah. Now you made a drawing, and you have it on a big pad somewhere in there. That's correct. Okay. And I have no one seen it. No one has seen this. Correct. No. All right. I want you to go ahead and pick it up and look at it. Okay. So you only you can see it. All right. Let's try this, Gavin. Are you ready? All right, I'm looking at it. Sure. All right. (laughs) Stare at it intently. I'm staring at it intently. And it's a masterpiece. It is. Did you sign it? Can we sell it on eBay after the show? Yes, we totally can. And we have to tell Brett Webb is now, uh, he he can't see it, and he's probably drawing what you've drawn. Well, we'll see. Yeah. We don't know. Are we ready for the big reveal? Okay. How long did it take you to draw this? Is it fairly quick? Very quick. Okay. On the count of three, you're going to turn it around. Let me see it. Okay. Go. One, two, two three. three. That's a tree. And a house. And a house. <laughs> and take a look at this. It is dead on. I got the what? windows. and the, I even, you even got have the, the sidewalk. Chimney. You even have the chimney I, and this the is sidewalk. Exactly. Now, wait a minute. Look How at that. No, come on. Thank you and good night or good morning, as the case may be. <laughs> Gavin, I'm going down with the ship. I'm going I don't this is crazy. This. I'm going to get that on the ship amazing. and get out of here. I was not even yeah. in the same room or anything when I drew this. Or with Bra- I mean, you weren't even in the same room. That I was going awesome. to the studio by myself. That is crazy. Let's do more. It's very, it gives okay. you the chills. Bob, are you okay so far? Okay. Now, also what we did, I asked Bob and uh, Bill for money, right? which is what I do. I'm Jewish. <laughs> I wouldn't give it up. Yeah. And <laughs> what, what did we end up? We ended up with a dollar, right. correct? Who has the bill? I do. Okay. Can you take it out of your pocket? We're going to do two things. The first thing we're going to do is this is going to require a little math. Okay. Okay. Uh-oh. So every piece of United States currency has a different serial number. Uh-huh. Every single piece. I want you to look at the, the bill. Open it up. So you look with me, Bob. Take a look at the serial number what you're going to do and bob can help you because i have a feeling bob's better at math he just looks that way <laughs> i was a stockbroker <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right <laughs> i knew how to work my commissions yeah. i want you to add up the uh, serial number add it up so one digit to the next to the next to the next so you get a total and i'm going to get as close as possible to your total without going over it's kind of like mental uh what price is right i guess so tell me when you get a total i'm going to show gavin look gavin I this see. is what i've drawn bob and yeah, I got it. That's one last. hold on <laughs> so i'm going to get close as possible adding <laughs> Kevin, are you ready? (laughs) I think I've got it. Now, Bill has a million things in his mind. Bob is able to focus, which is nice. (laughs) All right. On the count of three, tell me what the total is. Am I close? I have 25. I have 26. He was Uh, thinking 25. Okay. And I said I would get as close as possible without going over. Yeah. Not bad. Next, look at this. We'll try. This is what we call in what I do, my line of work. This is a very, very technical term. I call this a guess. Okay. Okay. (laughs) There you go. Next is more difficult. I'm going to do remote viewing. I'm going to look through your eyes and see what you see, which could be. Yeah, I'm going to take out my glasses. Deadly. All right. Beautiful art. Look at the serial number. Okay. I'm going to say it starts with a. It starts with a letter. Every bill does. Does it start with a B? Yes. And then is there a nine? Yes. A two? Yep. One? Mm Mm-hmm. Four zero three? Mm Mm-hmm. Four three. Yes? Yep. And does it end with a B? Oh, my God. I, I, we don't know how you do it. Am I correct? <laughs> yes. You got everything exactly <laughs> correct. Look at Gavin. Gavin's like, yeah. what the? <laughs> I tell you. Every piece since of Since I currency. met him, it's been like that. Right. <laughs> 
I don't know how. In no. constant amazement now, all the time. Uh, well, how could, you can't see through it. Okay, I know what I know. <laughs> see, you no can't idea. see through it. No idea. Now, one of the things Gavin and I did together when I first met him, I gave him, I found an old fan letter that I never sent him from the 80s. Remember this? Yes, uh huh. Love Boat was my favorite show. So mm-hmm. to think that I would be on the Love Boat doing my, my act Making with Gavin. A living. Yeah. Unbelievable. So what I want you to do, we'll do this with both of you. You're going to do it first. I want you to think 10 years of the Love Boat. 3,000 guest stars. I want you to think of one guest star from the Love Book. Got it. one. You got it in your mind. Now, for you, do you know? You probably don't know the guest stars. So what I did was right. I came up with about 500 of them. Now, I have people like Zsa, Zsa Gabor, Scott Baio, mm-hmm. uh, Ernest Borgnine, Frank Sinatra Jr., Donna Reed, Phyllis Diller, That's the right. Harlem Globetrotters yes. on the <laughs> Love Book. Do they count as one? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> what you're going to do is just reach in. Actually, why don't you do it, Bob? Can Bob, you come you over too, here? Because I he's a skeptic. I'm Bob, already, you're going to so close I, your eyes. He can't be after this. Reach no. in, take out one, and just tell me when you have one. I have one. Okay, take it back to your seat. <laughs> take it back to your seat. This is a clear envelope. You can see through it. There are 500 different celebrities in here. All of them appeared on the Love Boat. You have one in your hand, correct? I want you to take a look at it. Now, Gavin, tell us the celebrity you are thinking of. Who is it? Tell you? Yep. Chiro. Of, oh, of course. That's who I was thinking. Okay, everybody thinks, I mean, on the Love Boat. So I wasn't. Would you be impressed, Bob, if you picked the same celebrity? Would you be impressed? Would you be impressed if you selected the same I celebrity? Be very impressed. I would be blown away, I'll be honest with you. Take a look at it. Who do you have? <laughs> Not sure. I'm, okay, I'm going to guess. Is it a female? Correct. Is, do you know if this person's dead or alive right now? Dead. Do you know this person from anything? Can you name something? Not, not out loud, but can you name yeah, something they were in? Mm-hmm. I'm going to say it is... Oh, wow. Um, I'm going to guess. I'm going to say it is Donna Reed. <laughs> it is not? No. So I missed the first one. Well, who is it? Ruth Gordon. Ruth Gordon. Oh, from Ruth. Her- Who's that? Harold Maude. She was in Harold Maude. Oh, okay. Let me see. Rosemary's Baby. Rosemary's Baby. Okay, Ruth Gordon. I well, think my mother had that. Damn. Oh, Rosemary's Baby. Yeah. All right. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Now, before, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I sent you this envelope. Right. And you sealed it. You, uh, it's been sealed. You, you brought it into the, into the safe. You brought it and into the safe. And you were very You spent $4.22. I yeah. did. I yeah. spare no expense for yeah. the show. Yeah. Yeah. Open it up. Okay. We, we only have like a minute and 30 seconds. Yeah, do you want to do it when we come back? Yeah, can we well, do that? The break, yeah, I don't want to open because uh, it's sealed. It's, 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 I, even, I licked it when we got here again to make sure it <laughs> stayed sealed. Kevin, should we take our break early? That's fine. Go ahead. Uh, see, you I, know, this makes you more human to me. He missed one. That you missed one. But I have a feeling he's going to somehow... Something he's going to... He's going to... It's Ruth like the highway. Ruth Gordon's going to come in and hand me that pudding she was giving to me a fact. I got a Ruth Gordon story. <laughs> oh, quick. Give me a Ruth Gordon story. Well, okay. We minute. should... We, we got her to be a guest star. Right. She's the only one that had a big, big trailer right outside the door. And uh, they had given her the rewrites. So she calls in Gordon Farr, who was the producer at that time. She says, Mr. Farr, she says, I agreed to do this show. Well, I don't know. I can't, I can't use the words she used. Okay. But I agreed to do this show because of the script that came to me. I come and you give me a whole new script today. I'm not going to do this effing. Boom, boom, boom. Mm-hmm. So mm. they gave her. She did what she t- came script. to do for so the. So she was thing. a nice lady. She was Ruth she was, oh, she was tough. She was a writer too. She Don't was a little years thing, ago. Right? She was wrote that yeah. little tiny married to Garson Kane, the great, great writer, writer. Great, one of Kevin's favorite authors. You know, yeah, the Bill Feigl show live at local K News ninety four point three FM at nine seventy AM. It's hump day. We're sitting with the captain of the love boat, Gavin McLeod, the mentalist who's going to be world famous any moment. Brent Webb. Could happen Bob Bogart. For sure. <laughs> the director of marketing and communications at the podcast. He's still hanging around? Yes, he's yeah. still with us. And, and that's the voice of Kevin Holmes that we don't care. I know. Okay. What, what, do you want me to open the envelope? No, I'll tell you what. Uh, before uh, the show, another thing. We had a stack of magazines that right. you had out there. You picked a magazine. Right. And you picked a page. Yes. I want you to go take a look at the page. Okay. I'm going to try to do this next. It's Esquire Magazine. Esquire Magazine. They're still in business. You, good. Are yep. you looking at the page now? Yep. I want you to find an image on the page. If there's more than one, select one. If there's uh, no image, find a okay. word. But something you can look at. Is there an image there? Yep. Get an overview of it in your mind. Mm, I got it. Okay. Let's see it. Turn it around so we can all see it, please. Oh, you want to see it yeah. too? It is an ad for... 
The Optima. A Kia Optima. Optima. Okay. Now, 100 and uh, almost 200 pages in that magazine, and you selected that one out of the stack. You selected that page. Gavin, next to you, you'll find that. And I have not touched it. You've been holding it the whole time. That's correct? right. Open that up. and I, do, wait, Gavin has been it. holding it during the whole show. He has been. <laughs> it's all wet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and it says there what? It, goes. it says Kia Sedan, my friends, wow. right there. Bam. Wow. Nice. Look at Dead that. on. Look at that. Nice. Kia Sedan. Wow. Yeah, nice. Okay, now it's, it's time for the envelope. Can we open the envelope? Let's get to this. And then we can uh, talk about. I'm finally envelope. getting Bill my Oscar. Been dying best, to open. Best, best actor in a movie. <laughs> from William Buck. For most. Yes. Let's rip it book. open. Okay. I got. It. I got. It. There Come you on, go. Bill. Rip Come it on. open. Okay. Inside, you'll find another envelope. I didn't trust you. Right. I, it says. It says. Do not open until you. Take that. Here. Open it up. Rip it open. Okay. Faster. Pretend it's Christmas morning and you're five and you're about to get those ruby slippers you've been dreaming of. I had chief parents. We have one gift for Hanukkah. One more. Rip it open. <laughs> Do not open until <laughs> Brent Webb gets Now, come on. This is like Fort Knox security here. Seriously. Uh, this is the budget. third okay. Okay, reach in. Take out what's in there. Hand me. Oh, there's two little envelopes. Right. Okay, what do the envelopes say? One says for Gavin. Okay, on let me six, have that five. one. Okay. And your thoughts. Let me have this one. And I want you to take the big piece of paper. Right. Open that up. Take right. a look at it. This is going to be for Bob. Bob, take this. Read that to yourself. Open it up. What does that say on it? Oh, you're going to... I knew he's going to do this to me. Ruth Gordon. Ruth Gordon. Oh, my <laughs> Lord. Ruth Gordon. And that's from the... I knew... That's crazy. Can I open it? Yep. Totally now, crazy. Take a look at this, Bob. How did Bob? you do this? Well, do you see what that says? Yeah. Does it make any sense? No. Now, how, when, when is this post dated from? Can you take a look at the post date on there? It, we got it Thursday. Last Thursday. Okay. Yes. When, what is the post date on it? Uh, the, the post US, date. Uh, Hold that. Don't open May 29th. It. May 29th. I wrote this up. I sent it in. May 29th. There were three sealed envelopes. Inside that were two sealed envelopes and Ruth Gordon's name. Mm-hmm. What does it say, Bob? Can you read it out loud? Randy Cunningham, free, alcoholic cupcakes, Hadley Date Gardens, Egypt, 16 U.S. workers, prison, corn farmers, stuck... Now, I didn't know exactly what it meant when I sent it. However, today I went and bought a copy of your Desert Sun uh, newspaper. Right, right. The headline of the Desert Sun newspaper, there are several things. But first of all, we have this. Farmer sees migrants as valued employees. Albert Keck of Hadley Date Gardens. Now, that is on there, correct? Correct. Down here at the bottom, there is a picture. A free man, once again, former rep Randy Duke Cunningham has completed his prison term. Correct? Correct. What's the next thing? Alcoholic cupcakes. Top of the pit, top of the page, right here. Top of the page, right here. Let me see. I have to see. Right here, we have some of the hard stuff goes into these spongy alcoholic cupcakes. That's right my there. Kind of a What's the next magazine? Our uh, next stuff. Uh, Egypt, sixteen U.S. workers prison. This I was nervous about because I. That, okay, right here. Egyptian court sends to jail sixteen U.S. pro democracy oh, workers. Come on. Right there. Oh my what else God. do we have? Uh, corn flour farmers stuck. Okay, corn farmers stuck amid delayed planting right here. <laughs> so wait, do you work at the Desert Sun? No, I do not. <laughs> and finally, Gavin, there was one that had your name on it. Okay. Sealed envelope. We opened it, correct? Yes. You took out what is inside. Unfold that and read out loud what it says it from says, the top. It says, oh, my hands are shaking. <laughs> this is like getting it's an It's a nerve-wracking thing, yeah. isn't it? <clears throat> okay, on 6-5, live on the air with Bill Feingold, Gavin McLeod, We'll think of Charo. Charo, which is this celebrity. I knew that Come on. Way. There that you go. Is Little demonstration. Amazing. <laughs> totally, totally incredible. Uh, I, we, it's, we, I don't know. I just <laughs> Gavin McLeod, have you ever seen anything like that? No, I haven't. No. You know, I, I, it's hard for me even to say anything. Yeah. Uh, my, uh, my mind is just shut down. I mean, I don't know how. <sighs> I don't know. It's just <laughs> almost scary. Let's yeah. talk about Princess, our favorite yeah. cruise line. What, you we talk- can talk about that. Yeah, because you know That's they love it. You're not going to make that disappear or anything. <laughs> I, I was wondering, though. <laughs> he thinks he's the captain now, Brett Webb. Well, no, he's, he's the captain. I pay homage every single time. Every night in my show, he's the headliner. He oh, works. thank you. He's in there. And it's different every night. So it's, it's different coins, different pictures. It's always different, right? right? I don't know how you do So we that. have three copies for. Look, Captain That's Stubing. Mind blow. Captain Stubing saves the oh. day. Uh, <laughs> uh, so we have three copies for you. Should we get this other one out for him? 
Thank you. Oh, yeah, man, that's people. people marching up here. It's a mind blower, isn't it? Do you know how yeah, I did I, it, Bill? No. I don't <laughs> either. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> and what's amazing is Thank you. he does three shows a night, and, and the audience, the Every first show, different, it's packed. They're always different. The yeah. second show, you can't get in the room because the people from the first show are coming back again. The third show, they turn people away because everybody in the ship has now come to see it. And every time he does this routine, all three shows are different. Remember, we filmed a bunch of them. It's yeah. never the same. It's so I don't say the coin all the time. No, no you coin them to the nickel. Coin. It's, 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 it's a nickel. Okay. And, and it's a different, okay. different and a different song. And all that. Oh, yeah, it's a different that. song. All three things are different in every show. So it's a really? different song. I, I will always love you. It's been uh, Big Girls Don't Cry, Happy Face. It's uh -huh. been a stick man. It's, everything is different. Oh, yeah.